Now we will continue with part C and D of this problem. Uh, remember that we have two letters, three and four meters long, that have this configuration and there is a rope in between them at a distance 0.9 meters from the ground. And uh, these letters are uniform and we have no friction at the ground. And we talked about the free body diagram and the geometry in detail in the previous video. Now in part C of this problem, find the magnitude of the force on one letter exerts on the other at point A. So we want to know this horizontal and vertical components and therefore the force applied by one letter on the other. Okay, so in order to solve this problem, first I look at the equilibrium on the x-axis. Net force on the x-axis should be equal to zero. And you can see that this is already satisfied because uh, the uh, horizontal component of the force is balancing the tension on the uh, rope. So we have a T minus T equals to zero for each of these letters. So t minus t is equal to zero. This is already satisfied. That's something we talked about. How about the net force on the y-axis? Uh, so if I concentrate on the left letter here, uh, the forces that have components on the vertical axis is the this one, v, the force applied by letter 2 on letter 1, which has a vertical component. There is the weight W1 and there's the normal force pointing up. So concentrating on the left letter only, the equilibrium of the left letter, I see that I have the vertical force, the normal force on the left side minus the weight of the first letter is equal to zero. So this tells me that the vertical force should be equal to W1 minus <coughs> N sub L, which is W1 minus N sub L we have found in part A to be 0.68 W1 plus 0.18 W2. So I substitute that here, 0.68 W1 minus 0.18 W2. So I find that the vertical force is 0.32 W1 minus 0.18 W2. Okay, so that's the uh, symbolic answer. Now, if I substitute the numbers here, the vertical force is 0.32 times 480 newtons minus 0.18 times 360 newtons. That gives me a vertical force of uh, roughly 82 89.1 newtons. So that's the numerical answer. Now, what is the force exerted by the left letter on the right letter or the right letter on the left letter? They are equal in magnitude uh, according to Newton's third law. And uh, we know the vertical component and horizontal component. It is square root of v squared plus t squared. That's the magnitude. So I have 89.1 uh, square plus 322 point, uh, let me see what was the tension, 323 uh, squared, square root, here I'm actually using the exact numbers in this calculation, so FL and FR are equal and roughly equal to 335 newtons. <clears throat> so that's the answer I'm looking for in part C. Now let's look at part D. If an WP equals 800 Newton painter stands at point A, find the tension in the horizontal rope. Now we change this uh, diagram. We have an additional force WP. So what is this going to uh, affect? It's going to affect the tension. So there's going to be T primes here. The normal forces will be affected, but the weights will not change. Okay, so if I write the equilibrium condition on the y-axis, net force on the y-axis should be equal to zero. The 
modified normal force nl prime plus modified normal force nr prime minus w1 minus w2 minus the weight of the painter should be equal to zero so i find that nl prime plus nr prime is equal to w1 plus w2 plus the weight of the painter the net force on the x-axis should be zero that tells me that the modified tensions should be the same they cancel each other and uh, the net torque with respect to point p which is what i considered in part a now it's going to have <coughs> a component uh, due to nl prime so it's r cross f the sense of rotation is clockwise so it is 5 nl prime but it's with a minus sign because it's clockwise minus 5 nl prime uh, the right hand rule tells me that it's in minus k hat direction uh, then i have w1 now remember the perpendicular distance for w1 to this point is 1.8 plus 1.6 3.4 meters the sense of rotation is counterclockwise so it is a positive torque so this is plus 3.4 w1 and then i have uh, w2 w2 has a perpendicular distance 0.9 now r cross f for w2 is also counterclockwise direction the torque is in plus k hat direction so this is also positive plus 0.9 w2 now i have this additional weight here the weight of the painter at a perpendicular distance 1.8 from this uh, pivot point so r cross f for this one is also uh, going to be causing a counterclockwise rotation positive torque plus 1.8 wp and this total torque should be equal to zero at equilibrium so this gives me nl prime is equal to 3.4 uh, over 5 w1 plus 0 0.9 over 5 w2 plus 1.8 over 5 wp all right so if i calculate this uh, nl prime becomes 0 0.68 w1 plus 0 0.18 w2 plus 0 0.36 wp so substituting the numbers here i obtain 391.2 plus 0 0.36 times 800 newtons and that gives me nl prime equals uh, roughly 679 newtons now <clears throat> what is nr prime uh, the new normal force on the right side it is uh, w1 plus w2 plus wp total weight minus the modified normal force on the left nl prime it is uh, 840 plus 800 uh, minus 679 this gives me an nr prime of roughly 961 newtons all right and what is the new tension now if i consider the torque with respect to point a where the new weight is uh, let's take a look at that so r cross f so here i have 3.2 meters perpendicular distance r cross f causes clockwise rotation it is minus 3.2 nl prime uh, now the torque due to this tension here this has a perpendicular distance 1.5 meters uh, the sense of rotation is uh, counterclockwise so it's a positive torque plus 1.5 new tension t prime and for w1 i have a perpendicular distance of 1.6 
uh, R cross F gives me counterclockwise rotation. It's a positive torque plus 1.6 W1 equals to zero. So I find that the new tension will be uh, 3.2 uh, modified normal force NL prime minus 1.6 W1 divided by 1.5. Here again, I'm considering equilibrium of left letter. Okay, and this gives me a tension T prime. Uh, if I substitute the numbers, it's going to be 3.2 times 679 minus 1.6 times 480 divided by 1.5. I find that T prime is roughly equal to 937 newtons. Okay. So what was the old tension? The tension we have calculated before was 323 newtons here in part B. Now with this additional weight, the tension has increased. So what do we find? So the additional, additional weight of the painter Painter causes the tension in the rope to increase. All right. So in this part of the problem, uh, first we calculated the forces applied by le left letter on right letter and right letter on left letter, which are related by Newton's third law. Um, the horizontal components are the tension, uh, basically, balancing the tension in the rope. The vertical component I can calculate using equilibrium on the y-axis. For the left letter, it is the a vertical force plus the normal force on the left minus the weight, the total, uh, because this is at equilibrium, the total force on the y-axis should be equal to zero. So I calculate V and the magnitude of the force FL or FR is square root of V squared plus T squared. So if I look at the question carefully, it says find the magnitude of the force. So not the direction. If you were asked the direction, then it would be at an angle theta uh, equals tangent inverse V over T, obviously. Now, if you put a painter uh, on top of these wheels, uh, on top of these letters, WP is pointing down, we have a new force. We can go through the same procedure. Net force on the y-axis should be equal to zero. Tells me that the sum of the modified normal forces should be equal to the total weight. The net force on the x-axis is zero. The net torque uh, with respect to point B, I have calculated. This one is 5 nL clockwise negative contribution. This one is uh, basically uh, 1.8 plus 1.6. It is 3.4 W1 counterclockwise rotation. Uh, 0.9 W2, uh, another counterclockwise rotation. And 1.8 WP counterclockwise rotation. And remember that these two, because they have the... Uh, same perpendicular distance with respect to this point P, it will have the uh, cancelling torques. Okay, and these forces are also, uh, they, will, they will have torques that will be cancelling. So NL prime can be calculated with this and using the equilibrium on the y-axis, NR prime can be calculated by subtracting NL prime from the total weight. And when I consider the torque with respect to point A, due to these uh, forces, NL prime, T prime and W1, equilibrium of the left ladder, uh, I can calculate the tension. And for this one, I have um, clockwise rotation from NL prime, counterclockwise rotation from 
uh, um, uh, w1 and counterclockwise rotation for uh, t prime so these two are positive this is negative torque and that gives me the t uh, modified torque to be greater than what i have found in part b so the effect of adding the painter on top of these two letters will be to increase the tension in the rope